Um, but if they have, I my apologies, but I don't believe I don't believe that's the case. So that should be great. Welcome aboard, everyone. It's good to see you. So we're gonna get into it. We're gonna talk about our IFR to Glacier Park here. So let's talk about the departure out of Salt Lake City, which is relatively routine. Let me uh, pull this up for you. So we really have two options, right? And it kind of depends on the weather and our direction. So let me get the weather before we talk about that. All right, refresh this other page and it should come up. Oh no, that is a, uh, that's a, that's a bugger. That's a, that's a bugger, folks. That's a no ATIS. Okay, so, um, one second. Let me see if I can get the ATIS another way without using the SIM, because the SIM ATIS sound blows. Um, one second. All right, online ATIS. I don't know that there is one besides uh, my flight route, unfortunately. I'm looking for it, though. Yeah, I don't think there is. One second. Maybe we'll get the uh, ATIS here. I see center tower, ground, and approach. I don't see... See, the, the, the meets are, though. But that doesn't give me an information code, unfortunately. San Francisco clearance a delivery. Good afternoon. It's Redwood 2507 IFR to Phoenix Sky Harbor, please. I think we'll probably end up just giving negative ATIS. Clear to the Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport. Stick three departure Intel transition. Then as hey, Snare Food, do I ever do RNAV landings? Yeah, I do. Just, um, I tip you typically get visual, um, approaches because usually the conditions aren't um, to the point unless you're in like denver or something maybe where you'll get like a um hey typical no i ha i can get the metar but it doesn't give me the atis information code it just gives me the the weather but um i wanted the atis code so i could give it to them it took round um but it doesn't matter I was just trying to also, it also gives me the active runways so that I can use that for planning. But we're not getting ATIS. So we have to guess what the active runway is based on the wind and plan from that. So it looks like the active winds are north, northwest. So. It looks like that we're going to be departing probably three, four right is my guess. That's what you usually depart on, but maybe not. It could be wrong. Could be incorrect. Let's take a look at the uh, two options here. So we have the uh, Ensign and Leets. So the Elite 6 is for the 1-6 and the Ensign is for... Three, four. So that's why I was saying I wanted the active runway because knowing like this is one of those situations where there aren't like three departures for all of the runways. The departures that you're supposed to use literally depend on the side that you're taking off from. So, however, it's probably reasonable to assume we're going to get three, four because we are going to Glacier Peak or Glacier Park and it is northerly of here. So we'll, we'll file the end sign and go over it. So let's talk about that in a moment. Let me just get this filed. We'll brief after we get the clearance. And obviously there's no stars into uh, Glacier Peak. We'll probably get a vectors. But yes, yeah, Nerfo, I do do RNAV landings. It's just you usually get visuals because um, usually it's not that bad to where you can't do a visual approach. Usually, keyword. It does happen, though. It does happen. Okay, let's pull this up. All right, let's take a look. So we're going to head from Salt Lake City to Glacier 
Park. I'm going to keep calling it Glacier Peak for some reason. I don't know why. I'm not sure why I'm doing that. I'm going to try not to do that. Because that's not what it is. Apparently the alternate's Canadian. Interesting. Probably because we're so northerly here. And departure time, Zulu. Oh, 1930. Oh, I mean, I like... I like non-precisions, but like I did them for the instrument program. I mean, they were, it's cool when you're not lost, like with how they work. En route will go 130. Fuel will go three hours. Cruising will go 320 true. And cruise would probably go like 36 or something. I'm going to go 34 because it's a 737. We're slant Lima. And we're going to file this and see what happens. And we're not a heavy, obviously. We're not going to be heavy on a 737. So we're going to file that and see what we get. Okay, so we filed. So in a minute, we'll talk to Clarence. I just want to do a few more items. Sound comes through now that we're back um, having the sim in focus. That's the uh, immersive audio for the NGX. So we'll put in our cruise of 3-4 and the landing altitude in Glacier Park here. Let me just get that. So typical, yeah, I actually have a few of them already, but, um, and I have plans to do some content with it, but I'm waiting for Drewiski Design Seattle to release because I can't fix Taxi to Gate Seattle. And you're probably wondering, well, what does that have to do with props? I want to do um, tower to non-towered IFR out of the PNW, and Seattle's the best airport to do it with. But the taxi to gate's not fixable. The I fixed the duplicate buildings, but it just flickers endlessly. Someone says that it's Pacific Northwest regions, and like that's okay. Um, but yeah, uh, I reinstalled the airport. It doesn't do anything, so it, I and it's weird. So. I'm kind of waiting for that Seattle Airports update to come out so I can actually use the scenery. That's why we went to Boeing for the Pilot Edge event, because I can't use the Seattle scenery at all. It just doesn't work. I mean, I'm not saying that I only want to fly props in the PNW, but it's where I want to do it first. And then we'll take it down to ZLA in a little bit. You know, like, not too long. Yeah, I don't know why it's so broken, honestly. It's just kind of silly, especially because it's expensive. But, you know. What was I looking for? I was looking for runway elevation. Looks like it's 3,000, so we'll grab 3,000. I round up for the purposes of this. Oh, and green screen's going nuts on me. One second, chat. Sorry about that. It was, it was literally fine before I went live. All right, give me one moment. I'll be right back.
San Francisco ground. Good afternoon, Redwood 2507. Request push back on to Alpha, please. Over 2507, San Francisco ground. Push on to Alpha, approved tail north. Tail north, push back approved. Thanks, Redwood 2507. Sorry about that. I think that'll help for now. It's not perfect, but it'll help. Um, we'll see how that works out when I go when I go back tonight. I'll set it up and try and make that better. Um, anyway, let's see what I missed. Yeah, snare food. So um, that's weird. Welcome. Uh, I'm not sure why though. Orbex, hey, Mr. Briggles. Um, Netherlands True Earth looks amazing. It does look really good. Yeah, I agree, dude. It looks awesome. Uh-oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Snarefoo, that's rough. Oh, dear. Yeah, it, there, there's a learning curve, but we all were there once. Don't worry. I promise. Don't Don't you worry one bit, my friend. All right, we're going to go and give a shot at clearance here. Now that I think the webcam is mostly intact. Salt Lake clearance, Alaska 1804 IFR to Glacier Park. Alaska 1804 Salt Lake City clearance cleared to Glacier Park Airport Ensign 5 departure halter transition then has filed climb via SID squawk 6724 Cleared to the Glacier Park Airport Ensign 5 departure halter transition then has filed climb via the SID squawk 6724 Alaska 1804 Alaska 1804 read back right Redwood 2507 verify squawking altitude it's 1804. I keep saying 1804 for some reason. I don't know why. It's a habit. I've always said... I don't know why. Okay. Redwood, We're going to squawk. 7, verify squawking altitude. 6724. Also, did pilot edge sound audible? Was it okay? Hey, Zodius. How you doing? Welcome aboard. Good to see you. <laughs> Mr. Prickles. That's why it's there. Yeah, it, it was fun times. We had a good time. That was a long time ago, though. Good man, Zodius. I'm glad to hear it, dude. Redwood All right, we're on ARAC. 1803 for just a little bit longer, folks. A few more days and we'll be on 1804 because it's going to be April. So this is Salt Lake City. We're going to head to Glacier Park. So we put in Salt Lake City, we put in Glacier Park. It's GPI. And we're Alaska 1804. 1804. We expect 3-4. And the reason, so this is this is part of why I like to talk about like planning and stuff, right? Remember how I mentioned, or if you weren't in here really quick, we'll go back for a second. I mentioned that this airport's departures are very largely based on the active runway. And even though the ATIS was down, you can look at the winds to estimate which runway is going to be the active runway. And I said, well, the winds are north, so we're probably going to get a... The Ensign 5 should work because it's a north departure out of Salt Lake City, whereas the Elite 6 is a, su a southerly departure out of Salt Lake City. So you kind of narrow it down. Um, and because we were cleared as filed, that means that we chose the right departure. So we that leaves only two options, it, which is 3-4 uh, right and 3-4 left. But we're either going to get 3-4 right or 3-4 left, and it's usually 3-4 right, especially since we're on Terminal 1. 
So we'll put in three, four, right? Because that's what we're going to expect. Surfing now we're going to put it in a project fly. Redwood 25. I'm going to turn that pilot edge down a little bit hey, until we're ready away, to go. Uh, blue, zero, one left. Over 25, zero, 7, San Francisco ground. Roger. All right. I uh, tried calling you three Take or four times before. Did you leave for frequency during the push? Uh, a firm I did. I was uh, probably not the right thing. I was trying to showcase these sounds a little bit better. Okay, yeah, you, you don't want to be on a movement area without us trying to reach you. I, I needed to get your transponder onto altitude, and I couldn't reach you okay, then. Okay, 1804. Runway, runway one left up, Mike. Tank Alaska, 1804, and we're heading to Glacier Park. For, uh, oh, uh, a little I comment. Does so anyone know why unharmed on this occasion? Glacier Park has... Okay, my light's doing it again. I don't know why. Glacier Park has both... Um, has both airports... Like, it has, like, two codes. Like, what's with that? I've never, like... Do you see what I mean? Like, this is... I don't mean, like, this. I mean, like, this. Does anyone have any, like, history on this airport? Because I have no idea why that is. But anyway. Start to Quebec, Lima, contact Salt Lake City Center, one tree, 2.25. Okay, this should be the right... Yeah... Put this in. There we go. Number two, Quebec Lima, one Green screen two, will not cooperate two, today. What is with that, bro? Bro. Could be. It could be placement. Um. One sec. Let me try one more thing. I'll be right back. Twin Star 412, Quebec, Lima, Salt Lake City Center. I advise you have the weather for Glacier Park, the alternate air tree 007, and say approach request. Number two, Quebec, Lima, expect that. Number two, Quebec Lima, clear direct angel. San Francisco Tower, Redwood, 2507, Mike holding short of one left, ready for departure. Over 2507, San Francisco Tower, runway one left at Mike, clear takeoff. Cover takeoff, Redwood 2507. Redwood, uh, Redwood 2507, I need read, uh, read back of the runway assignment, runway one left at Mike, clear for takeoff. Okay, we'll try that for now. Not sure what's going on. Hey, Prozac. Welcome aboard. Hey, Iron Saber. Um, shades go on a departure, my friend. That is Over that's what's going on. The runway assignment. I need to read back of the runway assignment. Runway I got into all this last Tuesday please. to casually do weekend well, yeah, morning clear. flights, but I end up flying every night. Now I got in the Navigraph yeah, stuff. Yeah, snare foo. It gets into it. Whoa, Prozac. That's awesome. Hope you're doing well, man. Uh. United 720 IFR. No, typical. It's controlled. It's a towered airport on pilot edge. It wouldn't be towered on pilot edge if it wasn't towered. I'm like 98% sure it's towered. United 720 Reno clearance. All right. So we're going to put in the routing here. So we have Holter. And then FCA. And then the Ensign 5 departure. And we expect 3 4 right, as we discussed earlier. 
Oh, okay. Gotcha. I so see. Contact, no Roger. Roger. Redwood, 2507. Gotcha, dude. Get to practice runaway trim, trailing edge flap asymmetry, loss of an engine at V1, single engine approach and weather to a go around. Oh my god, that's stressful. I thought I was going hardcore by flying on PE, dude. You're going all the way, but I guess that's why you're paid to do what you do, right? <laughs> I also cringed Prozac the other day. I saw this report on like job jobs that don't require a bachelor's degree and they requ they included being a commercial pilot and i was like technically they're not wrong but it's very misleading to claim that you can get a job at the major airlines without a bachelor's degree because that's gonna be tough <laughs> unless you're an old dude or something i'm like wait wait a moment i'm pretty sure you need bachelor's degree dude pretty sure they're trolling they're trolling bro Yeah, it's yeah dude. Destination airport again. <laughs> San Francisco, United 20. Okay, Say destination you're, airport. You want to go all the way to Klamath Falls, is that right? Before you go back to San Francisco, the last fix is Klamath in your flight plan. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't change the flight plan. Let me refile that. I'm sorry. Keith, Keith is on. It gets spicy, folks. It gets real spicy. In a good way. Okay, so we're going to switch the igniter over to the right side. So basically, we're going to do everything up to ground, up to pushing. We are, the we best. do need yeah, to push. Three three that should five, a little better, got a little better Angel myself. At above nine thousand, cross Into Angel the movement above here. 8, clear to this is a movement taxiway, so we'll get clearance to push on the hotel. So that we can get to three, four, right. Oh, that's awesome, Prozac. Well, congratulations, my friend. I wish you luck. That's awesome. Prozac, you really should try to go to Vegas, but if you can't, I understand. But I would imagine that your airline flies SWA and you could maybe get a, maybe get in there for a little bit. You can just come for the Saturday or you whatever. The or the Kansas Sunday. Airport, you don't have to come to the expo for both days. It's pretty yeah, chill both days, man. Climb via six yeah, Prozac, exactly. Six tree two two. I degree pro I I agree. I degree. I agree, Prozac. But yeah, no, definitely. Seven twenty read back right. That's what I'm saying. Doesn't require, but if you if you're doing that, then you're really going for it. Yeah. All right, we're going to turn on terrain and TCAST here. Jonathan's a game cast. Welcome aboard. How you doing today? It's good to see you. So we may only have time for one flight again today. Um, if I can, I'll do the return, but I have to get, um, I have to go back to college tonight because I start my term in a couple days. Don't worry. That doesn't mean that I'm like taking a break from Twitch or anything. It just means that, um, it just means that like I have to I can't stream as long as I would like to today probably because I have to like move out my my streaming rig and everything back so um but it, it I don't intend to change the streaming schedule in terms of like how often I stream that much like it, it should be about the same um six days five or six days a week I don't intend to like scale it back or anything um, the time could change, but it's, it, I, I'm also considering just taking out the Streamlabs thing. Cause it seems like it doesn't really matter whether I have it up or anyways. So yeah. Ah, chase plane at it again, bro. Oh man. My favorite bro. Chase plane doing work. I really do like the guys at FSFX, don't get me wrong. It's just that I wish that we that we could get something for 4.2 going here. That's all. I know they work really hard. I've talked to them multiple times. They're good people. 
Just because I'm making fun of this issue, it is not any reason to think that they're like, it's not worth to get Chase Plane. It's just this experimental build you have to use for 4.2 is not stable. I mean, it is experimental, to be fair. Okay. We also have several pilots at my company who are also lawyers. I've flown with two guys who have a PhD. Holy crap. Wait, really? That's cool. That's really cool. I guess it goes to show you that, like, you never really know when you're young, or you don't always know when you're young what you want to do with your life. Okay. So that'll work for now. Let's uh, try this again. Come on. Let me use my keys, bro. Robot 2507, contact Oakland Center. I need one, them two, eight, keys. Okay, well, this is good enough. We'll see what happens. You have two astronauts? That's awesome. IRSs are going to come on. I should have had those on before. I can see them, bro. There we go. Okay. Yaw damper's coming online. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Here we got window heats. Tests. I can click the switch. There we go. By the way, how's the volumes for you guys so far? Please let me know. I'm going to turn up pilot edge a little bit when I'm ready to, to uh, push, but yeah. Besides that, I guess. One guy's a guitarist for five-time Grammy winning country band. Wow. Jeez. All right. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Hey, Haz, Legend, welcome aboard. How you doing today? It's good to see you. Okay, that's almost it for pushing, actually. I do need fuel pumps, but that's really all I can think of at this point. Hear those coming online. And auto brake goes down. Hazelden doing good, thanks. Glad you're doing good as well. Like the positivity. We're uh, doing our pre flight where it's all like we're going to head to the new Glacier Park by Turbulent on Pilot Edge. Robot 2507, contact Oakland 7127. That's Pilot Edge in the background. Okay, a few more things we need to do. We need to tell the plane how much fuel we need. We don't need 46,000. We're going to go for, uh, we're going to go for 17. Uh, let's go one nine or thousand. Over twenty five zero seven Oakland Center, climb and maintain flight level three seven zero. And this is one four one fifteen. All right. Okay, and we're gonna put this on ground connection so we don't forget. So now we'll go into the perf page. We tell the plane how much it weighs, how much we have in reserves. We're going to go a little faster on this one. This is three, four, zero. And cruise win. Let me grab that really quick. Need to put this in. All right, TOC is 229 at 101. A little turbulent, but not too bad. Wait, I said 121? 101. Okay, N1 limit will execute. No D rate, we're 90%. Flap is going to be 10 at this load factor. This is 23. 
This is a 737-700, so it's a little smaller, so our V-speeds are going to be lower. Really, Hasleton, congratulations. That's amazing. Hey, Jonathan, it's no problem. Thanks so much for uh, coming in. Have a good rest of your day. All right. That's awesome, though, man. Sounds like we are starting off on a strong week here. I'll grab the altimeter finally, too, which is going to be... Oh, the ATIS came back. Feels good, man. That's really cool. All right. I'll, I love it, dude. Picon Air 260. Oh, man. Salt Lake City Center on the first standby. So it's 3013 is what I get. Thanks for that host, Jonathan. Like I said, have a great rest of your day, man. Thanks so much, dude. Okay, that should be... Yeah, we'll go flight directors finally here. We'll go 131. We expect three, four, three on departure. And climbing via the SID. Let's go over the Ensign 5 really quick, shall we? Okay, the Ensign 5, assuming that this works out, um, we're going to go, if we're going three, four right, let's take a look. So we're going um, Rato. Looks like it's Rato. The, uh, the clearance is just via the uh, Wacom. Well, Max. Ensign. So the, the top the is 2-3. So we'll uh, so put in 230. Because we're climbing to, via the SID. Otherwise read my correct and and VNAV should do the rest of this. I don't know if we're going to be able to make this, though. I'm going to lower the weight a little bit. Sorry for the uh, to kill the realism a little bit, but I don't want to break this because I'm too heavy. Yeah, we're going to chill a little bit on that. It's fine. The load factors on this flight aren't, this flight aren't that good anyway. This frequency. Change advisory frequency approved. Okay, so yeah, that's all we're going to do. Oh, and it's important. This is at 230 knots. So at Rado, we want to be at 230 knots. We don't want to be much below it or much higher than it. Um, unless we're told delete the speed restrictions. Um, part of this is probably to help you understand how, how fast you need to climb. Because really, this happens quickly. There's about 4,700 feet between... Sorry, or 30... Sorry, 3,700 feet between this... Initial That's climb on runway heading and this next fix. Hazelden, that's amazing. That's why I love like what I do, is because um, you know, you know, I get to meet people like involved, you know, in simming and IRL. So I think that's really great. So thanks for sharing that with me. I do appreciate that. All right, so we're gonna pull the APU. Reno ground, United 720, ready for taxi. And then we'll uh, yeah, talk to ground. Reno ground, only one six right, taxi the Alpha. One six right, the Alpha, United 720. Robert 2507, cleared direct Keno. By the way, and we are four sub points from 100. Um, I'm going to do a little surprise giveaway for 100 uh, once we hit that. Um, so thank you guys for that support on that end. And there has been there have been some really generous tips as well recently, so thank you uh, very much for those. I do appreciate it. Helps me buy sceneries and other things for the stream, so thank you for that very much. Okay, so APU's on in just a second, and we'll grab the gens and switch off the chocks and the GPU. There we go. So Haslogen, if you're technically rated for the CRJ, what's your opinions on the Aerosoft CRJ, dude? What are your thoughts, my friend? I would like to know. Okay, there we go. Remove chocks, remove GPU. We'll go legs on this. And we'll go takeoff reference on the left.
Reno Tower, United Seven Twenty One Six, right, right. Or do you not own the? Do you not own the Aerosoft CRJ Haslogen? What are your thoughts? Yeah, it's seven twenty. You just see my grin, yeah, like, oh god. Right to clear for takeoff wind. Oh, that actually it was an accident, but that looked that worked well. Yeah, and it reminded me I need to close the door. Off. Always an item to forget, folks. Always an item to forget. There we go. Hazelgen's annoying me like this little troll, chili, talking about simulator planes. I'm getting my commercial job. Get at me, bruh. <laughs> Juby, welcome aboard. How you doing? All right, we're going to switch to ground and let them know what's going on. What our intentions are. We're going to go one, two, three, seven, seven, five, because we expect that. And tower is going to be one, <laughs> one, one, nine or That's what I have here. It's all right. It's nothing perfect. Well, that's better than I expected you used to say because I've heard it's terrible. But, you know, sim pilots are sim pilots sometimes, right? Am I right, chat? Or am I right, chat? I have a feeling I missed something. Do you have any guess? Because I'm pretty sure... Yep. Okay, I caught that. Good catch. That was really good. I am Juby. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, I am. Okay, perfect. Got to take a look at that. That's important, folks. Got to make sure you can see your ND. That's not good if you can't. That's not 9, good. 720 contact NorCal departure. 9720 over to NorCal. Good day. All right, we'll wait a second for the radio to be free and we'll call up ground. And what's the weather? Let's refresh one more time. It's probably hotel still, but just making sure it is. Yeah, 720 contacts, Reno, Alton, I'm going to actually write this out. It's kind of a long call. Salt Lake Ground, Alaska 1804 requesting push on to hotel with hotel. Alaska 1804, Salt Lake City Ground, push on to hotel to prove tail south. Push on to hotel, tail south, Alaska 1804. Alaska 1804, right. my mistake, we're departing north, push on to uh, hotel, tail north. Push on to hotel, tail north, Alaska 1804, thanks. All right. On air 263, Salt Lake City Center released for departure. Time now 2043 and one half. Clearance void if not off by 2055. If not off by 2055, advise intentions no later than 2110. Change to advise intentions. GSX, you blow. Whatever. I don't care. I really don't care. Okay, GSX. I hope this is right. Hey, Juby. Um, yeah, one sec. Let me take a look. Yeah, there's something with Project Fly in the app and open beta. I have to like go onto the old website. I don't know if I can do that. Did it come back? I think so. It was getting DDoS or something. Okay, one moment. Okay, I just accepted that. Thank you letting me know yeah i don't check the old website because i use the open beta app and you don't get friend requests randomly on the v3 haslogen it's it's it should be this um there it is try that john faza welcome aboard what do you mean bro how you doing, man? 
He's trolling, bro. Hey, Hazleton, no problem. Thanks for hanging. All right, I really hope this is right. Um, yeah, at 720, contact Oakland, center one tree, 2.2. This might be completely wrong. I just need to push so that I'm facing... Hey, Froz, I think it is, or Froz88. Sorry if I butchered that. Thanks for that follow. I have a feeling he's going to turn me right. I want to be facing the other yeah, way. Climb and maintain flight level two, four, sir. John Faza, I'm doing well, thanks. I'm just a little nervous about this push right now. Yep. Hey, GSX, can you stop, bro? Okay, we're going to do this. Am I sticking out? Uh, yeah, let's try this. Okay. We're kind of cheating here. Not really, though. This should be okay. Uh. Uh-oh. GSX, I wish you didn't blow. How do you tell it where you are? Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> Damn it. I should have known that was going to happen. That's so annoying. We need better pushback in freaking P3D, bro. Urgh. No. Uh, try again. God. Come on, bro. Oh, is it just gone? Where'd it go? Oh my god, really? PMDG pushback help me? Okay. <laughs> Paid add-on, by the way. God damn. Alright. Crack 802, what's up? Uh, shades go on at takeoff, bro. You usually come in after takeoff. Yes, I'm fine, bro. Calm down. 7412, Quebec, uh, Quebec, Lima, Salt Lake City Center. Cancellation received. Have a good day. Bitcoin Air 263, Salt Lake City Center, right in. Sorry, I have to use text because I don't like the audio. Won't last Econet long, though. 263 is right of contact, five miles southwest of the Bozeman VR, Bozeman Altimeter, Tree 003. Okay. Okay. Don't be spicy. I can stop it. I just need to get the right way. Wait, what, Crack A? Feels bad. Cheater. Cheater. Please be the right direction. I'm dyslexic or something, I'm telling you. One sec. I think this is okay. Sorry, one sec. All right, let's uh, 
Oh my god, Paterne. <laughs> oh, now it's... <laughs> <laughs> no okay that's better ironically enough that's better than gsx somehow i think we're okay that was uh that was a meme right there gliding okay this is good all right we're, we're okay now this is fine that was, uh, spicy, though. Okay, stop. Spicy. Spicy? Oh, Jesus. Okay, that was too far, but we'll just pretend it was fine. <laughs> oh, and we didn't start the engines. Shoot. Okay, uh... Oh, that's probably bad, actually. God damn. Hey, Mix, thanks for the host. Salt Lake Ground, uh, last gate 1804 is on hotel. We're, we'll be ready to taxi in about two minutes. Last gate 1804, Salt Lake City Ground, Roger. Then I'll be ready to taxi in about two minutes. Hey, Kate at 09. Yeah, it's really nice, right? I thought I had to say something because I'm like on the taxiway and I haven't like started my engines yet. So I was assuming like, oh, I should probably say something. But I guess not. That's fine. GSX should have won best product. Yeah, dude, you're trolling. Birdhouse three months. Thank you so much, Birdhouse, for the three months, bro. I appreciate it. Welcome back. How you doing, man? Welcome aboard. How much thrust, Snarefu? Uh, I'll tell you what. You'll see in a moment. I'll explain. Sorry, I would explain now, but I'm trying to focus on this because I need to get going with this. Just a little nervous right now because that Holy pushback God, went uh, uh, totally uh, bonkers. That's about 20 short of Bravo, ready for taxi. The push was so meme. Oh man. It was a meme push chat. It was literally memeing me. Salt Lake City Ground, Romay, tree for left, taxi via GSX, Alpha. dude. Only PMDG saved Alpha. today. Alpha. I would have been Alpha. stuck there. Dude, Rax needs to finish that add-on already, bro. Please help. All right, left engine coming on. Yeah, thank you all for coming aboard. It's really good to see all of you. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah. So for those of you coming in, if you couldn't, if you didn't see the title, uh, we're checking out Turbulent Glacier Park today. So we're heading from Salt Lake City to Glacier Park. Um, so Turbulent made Idaho Falls and Michigan. If you don't know what other airports they made, they made, I think they made Big Bear as well. They've made a couple other projects, Terraflora or something, but yeah. So we'll be checking out Glacier Park today. It should be cool. It's also a new Pilot Edge Airport. It just came out last week. So yeah, should be good. Okay, so engines are ready. We'll go flaps really quick. We're gonna go gens, hydraulics, pack on this. And APU can go off at this point. Let's check gens, okay. Good. Nothing shut off yet. That's good. That's a good sign. Yeah, it's 720 to send via the Bodega to arrival. And that should be it. <clears throat> so we'll let ground. Now we'll let ground know what we're doing. Okay. 
One hour in, we're finally taxiing to the runway. Goodness gracious, I need to get better at this. You guys are like, what the hell is this streamer doing, bro? And Birdhouse, I'm glad you're doing well. Glad to hear that. Sounds like you guys are doing well today. Pro Sauce, hello. If I didn't say hello, welcome aboard. Salt Lake Ground, Alaska 1804 on hotel, ready to taxi with hotel. Alaska 1804, Salt Lake City Ground, runway 34, right taxi via hotel. 34 right via hotel, Alaska 1804. Cat Napper, welcome aboard. Oh, Voodoo, very funny. Mr. Vac, welcome aboard. TCC student, everyone's coming in at the perfect time. I like it, dude. I really like it. Okay, turn the airplane, chili. Use the rudders. Okay. It's hard, bro. Okay, you don't need this much snare food. That was a bad example. Um, you don't need that much. Probably 35%, maybe. Trying not to do the SWAT taxi here. Hey, Mr. Vac. Uh, Mr. Vac, no. That sounds horrible. Please do not do that. You did not. I'm emotionally destroyed, JK. How's it going? We're doing well, man. Okay, hotel is... Take this left. Don't take that right. That's bad. Mr. Vac, no, bro. City Tower. You're trolling. Uh, ones are too for a He's left. trolling, chat. That's one zero two Salt Lake City Tower. Band. Three, four left, clear for takeoff. No. The two nine zero at one one. Don't be twelve, my dude. We don't need twelve year olds in Twitch Could chat. You're not allowed to have twelve year olds uh, on Twitch. I have to ban you if you're twelve. I literally have to. Actually, that's actually that's actually not a meme. It's a meme, and it's not. Mr. Vac. Don't. All right. Come on now. Let's, uh, let's grow up a little bit. Let's grow up a little bit, my dude. Okay, so we're on hotel. We're going to ride hotel to the end. So we stay on ground until we get to the hold short, and then we switch to tower. Mr. Vac, that's uh, that's awesome, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's better. I already like where we're going. Okay, so we're going to stop up here. Zeke, it's doing good, man. Uh, Mr. Vac, yeah, basically. Um, I'm going back tonight. That's why I can only... I, I'm only going to have time, I think, to do the one flight as well. That's um, I should be... I should be able to do longer streams soon. Zeke okay, sh this blows. Chase plane died again. Oh, God. Okay, we'll just hold short and wait. Wait a second. Uh, is this hotel two? I think we're supposed to go. This shouldn't matter, right? That's one zero two Salt Lake City departure. Flying right back. I'm Salt going City back to the school tonight. Trip. I don't live that far from where I go, but yeah. Okay, let's restart chase plane. We're chilling. It's all good. One second, chat. Ah, oh, they really need to get this update out, bro. It's really a pain. Zeke, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, we're heading to Glacier Park. Yes, I am, Mr. Vac. My spring break ends today. I'm going back tonight. My classes start on Wednesday. I 
and like I have to get books tomorrow. So, yeah. Also, going back the day before classes starts a terrible idea. Why don't you lot be like the British? That's a good question. I have no idea. No idea, sir. Okay, waiting, 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 waiting. Just keep spinning, spinning, spinning. Okay. There we go. All right, here we go. We're gonna switch to Salt Lake Tower and get on our way. And I think we wanted to go down all the way to the end here as well. So I'm gonna do this. Make the turn. Ruben, well, I don't have to after the first year, but my school's too far away for me not to. So, yeah. Okay, I'll cross the line. Wow, my posture today blows for taxiing. Okay. Ruben 2507, contact Los Angeles, Center 133.55 three, three five five today. It's like two hours each way. It's not far to where you have to fly, but I can't live at home and drive to school. I'm not driving three hours a day to go to class. That's awful. I would never get anything done. All right, here we go. And we're gonna put in departure here as well. Salt Lake Tower, Alaska 1804, holding short 3 4 right at Hotel 1, ready for departure. Alaska 1804, Salt Lake City Tower, afternoon, wind 290 at 1 1, runway 3 4 right, cleared for takeoff. Runway 3 4 right, clear for takeoff, Alaska 1804. I said it again. It's 0 4. Oh, man. Sacramento How Executive. How do you kick this habit, guys? Help me out, bros. So tempting to say 04. Alright, here we go. Roll one five, Julie Golf. Executive ground, good afternoon. Stand by one moment. We'll go. Number one five, Julia Golf, runway two, work for you, or you prefer runway three four? Hey, Tessa, uh, thanks far. for that follow. Let me turn up pilot edge a bit, Juliet folks. Golf, Roger, uh, runway two, taxi via Mike and Hotel. Let me know if volumes are okay. Runway two via Mike Hotel, one five, Julia Golf. All right, here we go. Gonna rotate about 125 knots. Oh, chilly center line, bro. All right, rotate. Gear. Okay, we climb our runway heading. 230 knots. Carefully, of course. Thanks for those Lucky falls, guys. Departure. Departure, Alaska 1804. 
Double one zero two, contact Salt Lake Center one three two. Act correction. Let's go uh, one two eight point seven two. Twenty eight seventy two, Delta one zero two. Salt Lake departure. Good afternoon, Alaska eighteen zero four, leaving sixty two hundred for eight thousand. Delta one zero two, Salt Lake Center, climate maintained by level three seven zero. Last gate, team 04, Salt Lake City departure, radar contact, and say again, climbing? Climbing 8,400, Alaska 1804. You're climbing to 8,400? That's correct for Alaska 1804. Were you assigned 8,400? We're assigned climb via the SID for Alaska 1804. Okay, that's what we want to know. If you tell me you're climbing to 8,400, that means you're stopping at 8,400. If you see the top altitude, that's much different than uh, than what you indicated. So Southwest 1804, Salt Lake City, radar contact, climb and maintain. Flight level 230. Climb maintain flight level 230, Alaska 1804. Okay, so... It's pretty much all that's happening. Okay, so we meet that restriction. This is 230. We adhere to the speed restrictions unless told otherwise. Pro sauce? I'm not sure. No, he's not mean. It's just being helpful. Come on, chat. Be. be... Yeah, he's not being mean. Hey, Ruben. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I know. But I'm just going to leave him because we're just climbing to 2-3 anyway. I need to keep these speed restrictions. Because I am not told to change speeds. Yeah, Marcus is a good guy. I agree with that. Can you guys hear everything okay? Let me know, please. I really appreciate all you guys coming in. Okay, so we meet the speed. There we go. Looking good. Oh, gear handle's still up. Good job, Chili. What you doing, bro? All right, looking fine. Oh, Pro Pete should have been on. Oops, that's a mistake. Small mistake. Okay, so we're turning from Womex, Direct, and Sign as filed. Still maintaining 250 knots until we pass um, Mucky here. If you level off to comply with the restrictions below two four before two thirty, <clears throat> I'm not leveling off below two thirty. I set VNAV. I set intervene to two to twenty three, dude. What do you mean? I don't understand what you're saying. Are you saying if I had just let VNAV completely control altitude, then yeah, you're right. Probably anyway. Okay, fuel, we don't need center. But otherwise, I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, thanks, uh, Kiel Mike. Welcome aboard. Okay. Last gate, team zero four. What's your indicated there, 250 for Alaska 1804. Alaska 1804, cancel speed restrictions. Contact Salt Lake Center 135.77. Cancel the speed restrictions 13577, Alaska 1804. Delta 102, contact Salt Lake Center 135.77.
I mean, we were going to cancel them anyways, but I see what he's saying. Yeah, 720 contact NorCal approach, 135.1. Okay, we'll wait. Salt Lake Center, uh, Delta 102, flight level 270 for flight level 370. Delta 102, Salt Lake Center, Roger, thanks. Salt Lake Center, Alaska 1804, flight level 217 for flight level 230. Alaska 1804, Salt Lake Center, Roger, climb maintain flight level 340. Climb maintain flight level 340, Alaska 1804. No, I did that though, Ruben. You mean in the FMS? I just don't understand why like putting in the 23,000 here is any different than going in here. I didn't do that because usually when you delete the speed, when you change this, it doesn't keep this. It like calculates some random speed and you can get into trouble because then you forget like, oh, I'm supposed to be at 250 knots. So that's why I don't do that because with one pilot talking on the radio and operating the airplane, it's really easy to do something stupid. Yeah, 720, Oakland, uh, correction, North Cal approach, Roger. San Francisco, call center 3021. And just like, I'm just eliminating uh, variables, really. Instructions well. I think are, are not essential. Well. Uh, expect vectors, visual approach, runway 28 left to send via. Hey, Corey, approach. welcome aboard. Good evening, sir. I think I think you're just misunderstanding what I'm saying. Maybe I don't know. I'm not sure to be honest. Oh wow, this is really a direct. Holy crap. Okay, so we are about halfway to cruise right now. I saw lots of names coming in there. Thank you guys. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, Ruben, if you hit intervene, it doesn't do that though. No, if you hit intervene, it, and, and it doesn't. It depends on the um, MCP though, I think. I hit, I put in 23 and then hit intervene. Yeah, if I, now you North approach, now one, three, five point six five. You are right that if I don't hit intervene, it doesn't do that. That's correct. Then you'd be in trouble. So yeah, we're heading to Glacier Park by Turbulent. I just installed it today. It just released today. So um, I think that'll be cool. I think you guys will enjoy that. I'm looking forward to it. I did not even I see it. Contact Salt Lake Center 128.72. G'day. 128.72. Thanks, Lost 1804. Salt Lake Center, Alaska 1804, leaving flight level 271 for 340. United 720 with NorCal approach. Now just be sure that when you check in with, uh, when you check with a new approach controller or new frequency that you indicate your present altitude as well. So you should be 11,000 on the Bodega 2. United 720 with NorCal approach, altimeter 3021. Fly heading 140. Back to Look at the scenery. Oh 18, no. 7,000. Really? As soon as I say that, man. Come on, bro. Last gate, 1804 Salt Lake Center. Roger. Look at the scenery, yeah, but I'm tr it's trolling again, bro. Chase plane is trolling. I'm really trying not to go back to 4.1 just because Chase Plane Experimental is doing this, but it's really tempting at this point. But I just know that as soon as I do it, it's going to like be patched and it's going to be like, well, I just went back for no reason. So, yeah, I'm trying to avoid doing that. Five Julie Golf. Yeah, I've got you over on Hotel on that far side. You can enter the movement area hotel all the way to runway two. All right, so we're climbing flight level 340. We're at 293. We got some nice clouds. I'd like to show you this, 
the terrain, but Chase Plane's rebooting here. No moment, folks. So what are you guys up to today? I know it's Monday, so I, I imagine a good amount of people are at work today. Um, so after this flight, I am going to be... Um, I'm going back to college for spring tonight, so... Um, you should expect a stream on time tomorrow. I'll let you know if that changes, but I don't expect to change my schedule that much. You should expect afternoons most days of the week. So using an RNAV landing, you could dial the altimeter. Uh, what do you mean? You could dial the alt- No. No. Never do that. That's illegal. You can't do that. Technically, with no ATC, you could do that, but that's a bad habit. Do not do that. That is literally trolling, bro. Help me out, chat. That is no. You don't do that. Let me explain why, Snarefu. Okay, so this is actually a really good question. I've actually had this before, but it's been a long time. Okay, so in in when it comes to like FARs and all that stuff, let's say you're given two nine or nine or seven, and you and you're like, oh, I'm just gonna scroll it down. One, one, okay, let me explain why that is bad. The minimums are based on the altimeter given to you by the controller that you last had, or that last gave you an altimeter, right? So if you do something stupid, they're gonna go, why the hell were you like here? Like you're gonna miss, you're gonna break minimums because you're going to think you're too, you're at a certain altitude when you're not. That's the point of the altimeter is, is to, the point of the, of the altimeter is to correct for changes in pressure I want five, Julia, at the golf so if you tower, three, two, do zero, that then you're completely null and voiding your actual three, altitude two, three, you have no idea what your three. actual altitude is corrected at all so no you cannot do that it's not going to work and I'm stressing it not to be like I'm not like mad or anything I just think that's important to understand like why you even use the altimeter in the first place like why you correct for pressure and, and all that? Turn left heading three six zero to center maintain five thousand. So does that make sense? So like I'll show you another example here. So like let's say we're doing like let's talk about the approach into Glacier Peak. Like, let's say Missoula altimeter three zero one one. Hey Lord. Okay, let's say we're doing the ILS for runway two at Glacier Peak or Glacier Park, right? Let's just assume that's what we're doing, right? Let's just talk about, let's use this as an example. It's a good context, right? Okay. So let's take a look. So down here on the ILS, we get the minimums for each fix of the approach, correct? If you adjust your altimeter, okay. Let's say that you are, you think, let's just say that you are actually at 8,000, but you scroll the altimeter down. Okay. You're going to be like some ridiculous number above or below where you're supposed to be on these minimums. So you're either going to crash because you're too low because of terrain, because IFR is designed for the worst case scenario, right? Instrument flying, you learn that, yeah, like this isn't the worst case scenario. Like I'm flying IFR, like it's not IMC, like I can see a cruise. But like IFR, like it both for GA, commercial, whatever, is designed for the worst case scenario so that there's always a way out. You have radio reception at the altitude that's corrected for pressure and cold weather. And if you, no. <laughs> yeah, you can't scroll the altimeter yeah, down because you'll, turn left heading you'll miss these minimums. Zero, descend and maintain 4, You'll miss these minimums by a lot if you do that. Yeah, you can't fly instrument approaches based off a wrong altimeter. It's literally impossible because IFR is designed off the instruments. That's why it's called instrument flying. Denver Center, one three three point six seven. See. That last call for me. I feel like it was. I have a feeling it was. At 102 Denver Center, Roger. Nope, it wasn't. We're good. United 720 San Francisco Airport, 11 to 12 o'clock. One, four miles. Report when you have it set. 
snare food. I'm really now glad you brought that up. Quick visual approach, draw my two, eight left. Like, now that I've gone through the instrument program and, like, I'm on PE, I still make mistakes all the time. But it's important to understand, like, what's happening. Because you can't improve if you don't know what's happening. And, like, you can't fly instrument approaches. It's illegal to fly an instrument approach based off of an incorrect altimeter that's, like, intentionally incorrect. It would be very obvious if you if you scroll the altimeter down a thousand feet. It wouldn't be like, it's not something you would do on accident. And in, in it doesn't matter just for IFR. For VFR, it's bad too because if you're trying to follow a VFR altitude, and you scroll the altimeter down, you're probably at the wrong altitude again, because you mess with it again. Like, it doesn't really matter what kind of flight rules you're operating under, but IFR, it's even more important, arguably, than VFR. Because VFR is visual and instrument is instrument. I'm not a VFR expert either, by the way. I should disclaim that, but it that rule's consistent between each aspect. Oh, the clouds are working really well. My Rex was doing some stupid stuff the other day. It was like trolling. It was rendering the clouds at like 1024. Lord, he was like, he was like, so Snarefoot asked, it would be easier to do an RNAV landing by dialing the altimeter down to the runway. But no, so Snarefoot, you just fly down to the minimums of the approach. So like, let's look at the RNAV. This is okay, Snarefoot, let me help you out here. So let's say we're flying the RNAV into Glacier Park and not the ILS, okay? Let's say we're flying the GPS Zulu, correct? Okay, so ignore the procedure turn thing here, the 020200. Let's just pretend that we're at 9000 and we're going to fly from GOGS, right? So GOGS is our initial approach fix. Let me know if you can see this, right? It's up there. And you... You're going to fly the final approach course into the airport at 020. So you're flying 020 along this track yeah, through the fixes. So you have Gogs, um, Av, Avda, whatever, Ajalpa, Kalgi, and the runway. Okay. So you start at 9000. And obviously, now, eight, so the problem with flying offline is that you, you do a lot of things wrong. Not that you can't do things wrong on PE, but what I mean is that like you don't get punished to where you know what you're doing wrong. Now, I'm not saying you should go on pilot edge and not know like some of the stuff. Like You shouldn't go on WES and like try to fly your Boeing. That will go terribly. But you should really just go back to GA. And I wish I would have done that. Snarefu, when I did the I ratings, I did it in the Cessna, and yeah, I didn't so want to at first because I love commercial airplanes, one, two, but I I decided, you know what, we're just going to do it anyway. It's amazing how much you learn when you realize you don't know about IFR and flying when you go back to basics. It's ridiculous. And you're at the point where you haven't made a lot of bad habits, so like it's really good for you to do it now, not later. Because you'll have all these bad habits that you can't solve as easily if you just learn from the... That's why, like, it's... That's why real flying is designed the way it is. Like, you start private and then instrument from there. If it was the other way around, that would be bad. Like, people would have issues. Bighorn Air 263 Spokane Approach Afternoon. Missoula okay. Three, I'm gonna one. take a short break after I let him know that I'm stepping away for a minute. Salt Lake Center, Alaska 1804 is just going to step away for a few minutes, if that's fine. Alaska 1804 is approved. Let me know when you're back. Roger, thanks for Alaska 1804. All right, Where guys, I'll be... calling was stepped on. Was that right Haglin back. 230? I'm unfamiliar. Haglin works for me. Haglin 230, Seattle Center. On request, stand by. Good to see us.
Eglin 230 is cleared to the Tri-Cities Airport via Wipeson and Espinal. Climb and maintain 7,000. Departure will be with uh, Seattle Center 132.6, Squawk 3517. Hold for release. Thank you. Read back is correct. Release for departure clearance is void if not off by 2135. Zulu, so time now 2125 and a half. If not off by 2135, call on this frequency with your intention. No later than 2140. Frequency change of people. Talk to you soon. Salt Lake Center, Alaska 1804, Spectrum Alaska 1804, thanks. All right. Let me catch up with chat here really quick. Once again, thanks for waiting there. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah learning bad. Yeah, trying to shortcut your learning is what I did, and it made it harder later. Um, hey, Ricky, welcome aboard. Yeah, 720, turn your transponder on. It should be 0.8 for ground. I'm going to turn on PE just a tad here. I think it's a little loud. Hey, Mike J, welcome aboard. How you doing? Good to see you. All right, so we got about 25 minutes till descent. Maybe a little less. We're doing good. And um, on that topic, by the way, Snarefu, one second. Let me grab something for you that I found extremely helpful. Um, it's the Pilot Edge workshops um, that are free. And you don't need to have any account or anything. At least I don't think you do to access them. They should be free. Uh, can someone click on the link besides Snarefu, unless Snarefu's already clicked on it? But they, you should be able to access them without an account. Mike J, you're good. How am I working the night shift? Hey, I'm doing well. Thanks for heading to Glacier Park. I'm excited to see it. I didn't even load in. I just wanted to see it for the first time. Okay, thanks, Corey. So yeah, those workshops are fantastic. It's amazing how good Keith is at teaching VFR and IFR concepts. But if you want help on like the approach specifically, he has a four part workshop. It's a lot of material. So like bear with it. Like if it takes you multiple days, it's fine. Like you don't need to learn IFR in a week. Okay. I did it really fast. I did the whole instrument in two weeks and it was a lot. So just go through them like maybe one per day or half of it and like try and digest it and if you have questions or like you're like what the hell does he mean um let me know to 30 radar contact three south of the uh the wilbur airport but it's a lot of really good stuff i promise it helps so much it's insane like i use a lot of it flying now a lot of the thought processes and things like when I talk about my route planning, like I've adopted like some of his, um, some of Keith's thinking about like picking SIDs and all that stuff, picking SIDs and stars and like, yeah. So I'm a fan and no problem. I'm glad that you're, uh, I'm glad that you're asking and that you feel comfortable asking. There's too many people that deny themselves the chance to like, you know, really get good at something like this. And I think it's a shame. Whoa, that is some wind, folks. Holy crap. Whoa, bro. I climbed to 3-4 because I was thinking, like, it's a 7.37, but maybe I should have went 3-6. But I might just tough this out. Uh, we're going to bring the mock down a tad so that we don't get screwed by turbulence.
Go to 270. So yeah, my plan is to get ZLA um, added to my subscription soon. So we should be able to do some flying down there. Some uh, west to ZLA and ZLA inside ZLA routes. Uh, Ricky, I don't have real world. Sorry, no, no, I'm not a real instrument rated pilot. Oh, I just mean that after doing the pilot as an instrument program and like going through all that material or at least a lot of it, I can tell you it's really like helpful. But there's a lot of really good concepts in that program and in the workshops. And honestly, I'd have a pretty decent head start taking what I've learned from doing this to the real world. Like, there would be some things I'd have to learn. Like, I'd have to understand mechanically flying a plane and that kind of stuff. Like, mechanically wise, it would be different. And, um, you know, some of those kinds of things. But, like, the ATC and, like, planning, flight planning, and... Twenty-five zero seven Albuquerque Center. Concepts of flying airplanes are there. R Ricky, yeah, no, I can't get a first class. I can only get a third. That's correct. And we're just rocking it, dude. Just rocking the wings. Look at that. That is pretty, though. Hey, that gamer 2003. I'm doing well. Thanks. Welcome aboard. Hope you're doing well, too. Hey, Zeke. I got the METAR for you. It's just because um, people can spam with a command, so we made it sub only a while back. A while back. But you're good, man. Corey, why did you clear chat? Hello? Trolling? <laughs> Corey is trolling, bro. That's all good, man. I gotcha. It's all good, man. I'm just messing with you. That gamer, I'm glad you're doing well. Really glad to hear that. So besides Glacier Park, by the way. Well, Ricky, that's all good, man. No worries. It's all good, my friend. So, if you guys don't know about the TBM 900, by the way, um, if you guys don't know Todoriko, he's been working on the, uh, the TBM for some time now, and he, well, uh, he, they announced it today, but it was pretty obvious it was getting worked on anyways. It's been, um, a bunch of our friends' streams, um, have been showing it. And uh, it's really, really cool. And I've actually talked to Todoriko. He may even be lurking in chat. I have no idea. Uh, Todoriko actually um, puts a, a, hangs around a lot of the Twitch chat, chats all the time, so which is really cool. So, yeah. Um, and I talk, I've talked to Todoriko about the project, about the TBM, and it's just really cool. So. Um, I'm really looking forward to that and you guys will keep seeing the beta evolve on different streams and all that stuff. Hey Serious Gamer, yeah, with new scenery, it's Glacier Park, it just released today by Turbulent. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I installed it, I didn't look, we're in this... Uh, we're in, it, it's sort of like an unboxing, except it's pixels, not, you know. We're, but we're looking at it together for the first time. I didn't even load in, so. Hopefully it installed correctly, but we'll see. I think it did. MagJ, what was it? Was it anti-aliasing or was it something else? Well, any good UK scenery, landscape texture? 
so that gamer do you run orbex already do you run like orbex europe and base because that's kind of important i would say if you're looking for that also there's some regions that go along with it um so you you, you use orbex base and then open lc europe and then uh regions there's like england there's different regions what do you mean it don't kill frames if Orbex kills frames for you, you probably have something incorrect or you have too low of specs. I don't mean to be rude. Um, try my settings, that gamer. So my settings have been tweaked a lot. I spent a lot of time trying to get it, my sim to where it is now. And now it's really consistent across the board. So that may help. I'm not sure what kind of That's system you're running, higher. but yeah. Um, that's my only comment on that, really, to be honest. Hagelin 230 is clear. Serious gamer, I think we'll be fine. Uh, we'll see. Block out to 628,000. Just let me know if you need higher. Using a 970? Yeah, that's not too bad. That should be okay. Yeah, just take a look at what I have there. Try it. Because Orbex shouldn't be killing your frames. Tango Alpha X-Ray with the Prime sub. Tango, welcome aboard. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. I really, really appreciate that. I hope you're doing well today. Thanks for that support, my friend. Let me change the sub points to 97. So we need three more for that giveaway. Thank you so much, dude. Hope you're doing well on this Monday. We're heading to Glacier Park. We're getting close to the descent. Appreciate your flights, Tango. Thank you. I appreciate you being here. Pro Sauce. Oh, yeah. So I talked about this, but if you weren't here, you missed it. I've switched Chili Shades and Chili A10 until we get partnered. But then we'll have emote slots and they'll both be in tier one. But I decided to switch Chili Shades and Chili A10. So every Prime or tier one sub will have Chili Shades once that gets approved. You can't just switch it. It has to get approved again for some reason. So it, it might take a few days, but once it does, then that's how it's going to be. And then once we get emote slots, then they'll be together. But we need partnership to have emote slots be on one. So it doesn't matter how many points we have. But points are for when we get partnered, then we have more slots to begin with. Nope. Yeah, um, I, I brought it up, but I haven't talked about it a ton. So you may have not have heard that if you weren't here. No, thanks for asking. Hey, um... A sir, uh, I think it's a sir solemn. I got 230 climb and maintain. Nine Thanks for that south. follow. Welcome aboard. I appreciate it, dude. That gamer, that's strange. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, my Orbex just that seems to be very consistent. Seven contact Albuquerque center now. One, two, eight point four five. Even in, um, Even in SoCal, it was fine. Like when I was flying the instrument ratings in the Orbex SoCal, it was good. It usually seems to be settings. I mean, it could be specs, but I think their 970 is okay. I don't see that. I don't think it's that weak. Albuquerque Center Roger Phoenix Altimeter 282. I think they just switched. Give me just one second. I'll have run my transition. Code. Maybe you like take what I have and lower it a little bit for the 970. But like, that's not a terrible graphics card. It's just not like amazing, you know. Yeah, right, twenty five zero seven seven be the bridge or one arrival we'll runway two six transition air landing west. Gotcha, Mike J. Oh, it's when you're on the ground. It could be a payware scenery you're using with it that's causing that. To be honest. I have like one or two payware sceneries where the frames are bad and then all the other ones it's good and it has and ten thousand it has nothing to do with like orbex it's just the it's just the scenery like sometimes the airport itself is bad send that discretion to maintain by level two forger 
Descend pilot's discretion. Maintain flight level 240. Alaska 1804. And we're going to leave now. Uh, Ricky, yeah, sure. Hey, Sirius Max, welcome aboard. It's good to see you. I hope you're well today. We're checking out the new Glacier Park. Sirius Max, which you may know, has, uh, was recently added to Pilot Edge with the final Western Expansion expansion. If that's how you want to say that. So we're checking that out today. Are we just starting our descent down into the airport right now? But yeah, man. What's going on? Sometimes it's in the air, though. Back Salt Lake City Center again. I use UK 2000 airports. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, if is it stud? Okay, wait. So we need to make a distinction. Um, there's a difference between bad frame rates and micro stutters, meaning that your frame rate, like this, is smooth, right? But like the random freeze for like a second is a, is what we call a micro stutter. If that's what you're getting, then. It could be access speed, air, so it could be drive related, the drive you have your sim and your add-ons on. It could be a bad install, like you have some corrupted things. Air, but yeah, are, is, is it just the frame rate? Like it's not smooth when you're looking around or is it like s freezing or something? Like those little freezes. That's a big difference. Because frame rate is not micro stuttering. No, don't like equate the two. They're not. They're not the same. Cooper Fish, if I didn't see you there, welcome aboard. Good afternoon. Hope you're doing well today. We're heading down to the Glacier Park. A turbulent just came out today. Looking forward to it. It is frames. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I just know that sometimes people don't understand the distinction between frames and stutters and. That's why I'm asking. It is Cooper Fish. That's correct. It is Marcus. Six on air pilot air. Yesterday. Air 263. I was looking at a different airport when I gave you arrival information. Expect vectors to the visual approach runway 20. That's probably something. I tried to fly the 737, and coming from the dash, it felt so boring, not going to lie. Yeah, Corey, I can understand that, man. You got to have that pilot banter, my dude. That's why I mostly stream all my flying, with a few exceptions. I didn't stream the I ratings, and um, I, occasionally I do a nighttime flight with, like, El Gargantuan or something. Like, we went to Aspen recently offline, but that was really late. I wasn't going to stream that because I was, like, tired as hell. Contact. Phoenix Approach 128.65. That game read, this is PMDG. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, gotcha, Corey. That's right. Yeah, no, it's just an example. I don't stream most of my... Or I stream most of my flying. Like, probably 85% of it. But, like, I'm not going to stream an hour-long flight. Approach. Afternoon, thanks. And I expect visual approach on six and then like go offline like i need to be online for a couple hours you know that's why i don't do that you stream zero percent because you're too lazy i mean you do also need a really good system to do it i mean i struggle on my current system sometimes as you know it gets intense bro Serious Max knows too. 
Serious Max, um, you need to... We need to fly to this airport sometime, man. I enjoy... I enjoy those Serious Max. I know you can't always hop in or the timing obviously always varies, but... I enjoy it when you come in and... You know, like I'm gonna... Like I'm on the ground and get on. That's cool, man. Not that pilotage is like not fun as it is, but... You know, it's that like next level of integration, I guess. So, I was looking at um, flights to do in PNW, by the way. Um, I have a couple in mind. I'm just waiting for Drewski Design Seattle to get done so I can use that to the taxi to gate because the frames aren't that good. Is the autopilot panel numbers always orange? No. Um, so that gamer, it depends on the kind of 7387. So this is the 737-700, not the 738. The 738 MCP is black and white, mostly anyways. Depends on the airline, but this one is is like that because it's just like that. But yeah, you're right that a lot of MCPs are black and white, but not all of them. It just varies a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, so Corey. Two, you send that pilot's discretion maintained by level 240. This is an ancient 737. Ancient. You know, an ancient 737 is a classic, bro. Hey, it's okay, Megawatt. Never feel like you have to sub. I do appreciate it if you can, but if you can't, that's okay. Thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. It's good to see you. I'm glad you like the stream. Thank you. Cooper Fish, I don't have time. I got to go back to college tonight. I'd like to fly two flights today, honestly, but I can't. I think we'll do the return tomorrow along with another pair, however. Or we might do a different... We might do a different... We might do Glacier Park to a, a Colorado airport and then somewhere west or something. Soldot create. That's a little much, but thank you. And welcome aboard. I'm doing well, thanks. We're heading down into uh, the new Turbulent Glacier Park right now. Yeah, ancient. Yeah, this isn't an ancient 737. Come on now. Not a classic. Come on, bro. Good story. Yeah, it's. The, the screenshots look good, but I haven't actually seen it in the simulator, so that'll be interesting. But I have a good feeling. Based on how good Idaho Falls and Michigan were, I think that we're going to like this one. And it's really cool that, like, they came out with an airport that's, that's on pilot. It's tower. Salt Lake City Center, 132.25. 132.25, Alaska 1804. Salt Lake Center, Alaska 1804, leaving flight level 261 for flight level 240. Alaska 1804, Salt Lake Center. Can you guys hear Pilot Edge okay, or were you struggling there? Bago Bones 76, welcome aboard. How you doing, man? It's those shades. Same, bro. Wendy, City Duffy, welcome aboard. Imagine the 737 classes are like a, a FSX and the NGs are like P3D ones newer, but it's all based off the same code. Duffy, shut your freaking mouth, bro. Stop the memes. You're trolling. Boeing, definitely. Oh, is Marcus streaming the scope this afternoon? He doesn't always do that. That's cool. Um, I think when we get done, if Marcus is still on, we'll host Marcus then. I didn't realize he was streaming the scope. I don't see notifications for streams when I go live when I, I'm just doing this. So sorry, guys. I'll give you a look at the airplane really quick here. Look at that, dude. Oh, thank you, Chase Plane. Look at those clouds. Hey, on 2.30, should I approach afternoon? Go ahead with your request. South order 3028. So I want to talk to you guys about something, something really cool. Um, so. I was contacted off stream 
the other day by someone who was upgraded their graphics card and they uh they said i have a 1080 i don't need absolutely no problem respect that and i said really and they're like um yeah i'll send it to you so one second maintain one six thousand the callus spell altimeter three zero zero seven The Sun Palace Discretion maintain 16,000 Alaska 1804. Okay, with 2507, contact Phoenix Approach. Okay, so um, he wants me to keep him anonymous, but um, I really do appreciate that. So I'm going to be getting that from him this week. Um, so that's really, really awesome, and I really appreciate that. Um, so I'll be switching this 980 Ti for 1080. And that'll keep me. That should keep me going. Um, I still plan to upgrade to the 20 series, to be completely honest, because there are things on the 20 series GPU that I want to do, like the extra VRAM for like ortho, for like high level zoom level ortho and stuff like that. But it doesn't really matter because it's pretty awesome that, like, so that'll keep us going. That should solve those frame rate issues with clouds. Because it's all GPU load. Heading, intercept the it should solve like everything to do with that. Descend and maintain six We're going to put spoilers out. We're going to get down to 1.6. On What's my favorite Boeing? 747, definitely. So yeah, I'll let you guys know when I get the 1080 and I put it in. Um, it should be relatively easy to get that going. All I have to do is run a utility that uninstalls the driver. Um, and then I put in the new GPU, switch it out. And then, so it shouldn't take too long. Which reminds me, I have to take the box for this so I can package it up. Favorite Airbus? I mean... I like the A320. I mean, I don't know. I don't really have a favorite Airbus, though, to be honest. That's mainly just because I don't... I don't hate Airbus. I just don't really pay attention to it that much. I mean, mainly other than, like, Flight Sim community streaming it or talking about it, you know? Because it's just, like, the Airbus scene has been active in Flight Sim lately. You know, lots of Airbus things have been going on. <laughs> so. Yeah, I don't, like, hate Airbus, though. Hey, UKV1725, welcome aboard. Good evening, sir. How you doing? Good to see you. Hey, that gamer. Thanks for that follow. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Thanks so much, man. All right, so we're about to hit the uh, the clouds here. We're sending one six thousand. Probably gonna put us just inside the clouds. Um, in a little bit, once we get to one six, we're gonna decrease airspeed a bit. Um, because we don't want to like exceed two fifty knots below ten thousand. Big one air two sixty three turn right now heading zero two zero vectors visual approach and descend and maintain one two thousand. Right turn zero two zero down to If you guys are wondering by the way, um if you want to see the other side of the scope really quick, we're gonna go down to two eighty, two seventy. But uh the other side of the scope today. Seven flight present heading vectors for the visual approach. Send maintain five thousand. Should be Marcus Yeah, he's on. Um if you guys wanna check Marcus out, you should. If you don't follow Marcus, he's a good guy streams the scope a lot and i look forward to meeting him in vegas this summer hey ukv i'm doing well thanks i'm excited to see glacier park here with all of you just came out so that'll be fun yeah zeke yeah it's just that some people may have not have uh, seen marcus's stream before so i wanted to throw that out there because he's on right now because like it's the other side of the scope you know like i'm on the pilot side he's on the controller side uh no cooperfish well you use reversers but the reversers are 
You, the spoilers deploy with the reverser. Sorry. Right, yeah, you see. Seven turn right, heading one nine zero. So you use. I mean, you don't land. You don't touch down with spoilers. You deploy spoilers for with reversers after landing. Like you use flaps to land and then change to spoilers, basically. I guess. It's hard to like, I, it's such a mechanical thing that I do now at this point. It's hard to like explain that. Right. Yeah. That's what I mean to say, Zeke. Thanks. <laughs> Fake pilot. What can I say, chat? I do my best. We'll probably do the Arnav Zulu unless we can't. But I'd like to do the Arnav Zulu. Unless he gives us a visual. Which we might get, I don't know. Also, apparently I read the uh, Big altitude for the airport run. Return left heading 340. Descend to maintain 9 or correction 10, 000. 340 down to 10, 000. Big Okay, let's get rid of the uh, chase plane again. It's not going to work. That's a great question, Pro Sauce. Yeah, I'll be happy to answer that. Just give me one second. That's a great question. Um, I think the next step for flight simulation is or turn two around. things. I think it's optimization. So meaning, yeah, we went 64 bit, but there's still a lot of work to be done optimizing prepared and explained. So, you know, x -Plane's moving towards Vulcan for multi-thread. Um, I really think that multi-thread is the next big thing. Um, besides that, besides that in Vulcan, um, I think VR working properly, meaning VR headsets are sufficient in resolution, are accessible enough by price, that kind of thing. And they work well in cockpits and payware add-ons. And get good frame rates for VR. That's kind of where I see the two things that I see are multi-thread and a general optimization and VR improving to where it becomes more widely used. Denver, are you around? You don't think multi-GPU is a thing? Uh, Voodoo, not for P3D. I mean, the thing is, is that... Delta 102, Denver Center? Uh, I think that SLI has kind of gone down the shitter because NVIDIA says it has. And you would think that if Big NVIDIA one, really wanted... Three, the Glacier Airport off your left side now, about 10 o'clock and one one miles advise me of in sight. If they wanted to sell Big more GPUs, they would just market SLI. Big Air 263, thanks. Good visual approach, runway 20. Good visual approach, Direct X 12 multi-GPU. I don't know what you're talking about. Isn't that using... Hagelin 230 at Jibdo, contact Tri-Cities Tower 135.3. Are you talking... You're you not talking about using more than one graphics card? I don't understand. UKV, not really, because Pilot Edge is all in the US, and I mainly fly on Pilot Edge now, so I, I did a little bit before I fly on Pilot Edge, but I don't really have a reason to fly in Europe without Pilot Edge. I just don't see the point. Like, I'm not going to learn much, and I'm not going to, like... You know what I mean? Like, I, I like to learn, like, I enjoy Pilot Edge, but I like the fact that you learn from it every time. Whether you make a major mistake or a minor mistake. Okay, but... I got you, but I don't understand. Are you saying that it multi-threads the GPU? I don't get it. You're saying that it's not multi-GPU, but then it... I said SLI and you're like, no, but then... So are you saying that it like threads the GPU out? Interesting. Yeah, I don't know if anyone does that yet. I don't think any flight sim does that.
Yeah, SLI's only application, and I think in flight sim at this point, is VRAM, right? And that would you'd have to be doing some insane zoom level ortho to need two 20 series GPUs running side by side like that. You would need to be doing some crazy stuff. Oh, VRAM isn't shared. So does it just split off Litmus? And hello, Litmus, by the way. Oh, cool board. Robo 2507, contact Phoenix Tower 118.7. DX12 multi GP allows you to use AMD in contact Glacier Tower 124.5. NVIDIA in the same. Oh. Huh. Well then. Robo 2507, Phoenix Tower. I haven't seen any write ups on that for some reason. Wind 27011, gust 21. Chase plane, not again, bro. No. Oh, well then. Yeah. Air 263 Glacier Tower, roger. Wind 220 at 15, gust 21. Runway 2030. Come on, Chase Plate, hurry up. Graphics cards are ridiculous. Hey, the camp. Yeah, it's awful. It's not good. But fortunately, like I said earlier, we're getting donated a 1080, like a pre-owned by someone who upgraded to the TI. So that's pretty awesome. That should help a lot until I can get the 20 series this summer. That'll probably keep us good until then. Yeah, that's a good price, Litmus. Definitely. But yeah. Hey, what do you mean it sells for 300 now? You mean 900? Do you realize how much you can sell GPUs for, right, Litmus? Ask 1804 to set a maintain 14,000. The set a maintain 14,000 will ask 1804. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I was going to say, wait, what? You're doing something wrong. Quadro P6000? Okay, but the issue with Quadro is... Oh, you're saying if you wanted VRAM. Okay, I got you. But I was just going to say, like... Don't you get less CUDA cores or something on Quadro? Yeah, that's not too bad to camp, but that's definitely overpriced. That's definitely above MSRP significantly. It's, I think it's supposed to be 429 right? Yeah. Where did you buy yours? I'm just curious. Hey, Sim. Um, I am probably 15, 20 minutes, bro. Not even. I am uh, really close. Do you have the weather for Calistell Airport? Salt Lake Center, yeah, we have the weather for... Uh, Cal as well. Right, 2507 left turn and into the ramp. You can head all the way down to Charlie. Charlie into the ramp. And I'll have you monitor ground 119er.75. Last 1804. Spec vectors, visual approach, runway 20. Spec ve vectors for the visual 20, last 1804. All right, visual two zero. So let's talk about that. So we need to slow down because we're going to get descend and maintain. OG blue pill, welcome aboard. Hey, Sam, no problem, man. Yeah, Lit Moose, I feel you. Rave Wolf, what's going on, sir? How you doing? Welcome aboard. Echo 230 Tri Cities Tower, good afternoon. Wind 210 at 17, gust 24, runway 21 right, clear to land. What's that auto brakes now? Oh, 
I just realized. Okay, let me explain something. I was like, wait, why are we still with Salt Lake Center? For uh, Kalispell, which is Glacier Park, there's no um, there's no approach. There's just Salt Lake Center the entire time. It's towered, Big but Wonder there's stay on my frequency problem, there's no approach right? controller. So I was a little confused. That makes sense. It's not a very like it's not a super large airport. It does have transport traffic though, like this, like the A319. So it's a relatively realistic route to fly in terms of uh, it has um, general transport aircraft going in and out. Which is why I went with the 737, because it's kind of the equivalent of the A319. Um, even though FlightAware shows data for A319s and not 737s, I figured it was pretty much the same thing. Serious? No, you're not wrong about that either. No. You, yeah, it does. It is a different driver. So yeah, for those of you coming in, thanks so much for coming aboard. We're about to land in um, Kalispell, which is Glacier Park. It just got released by Turbulent Designs today. Literally today. So this is probably the first person flying on Pilot Edge streaming Glacier Park. Um, I'm pretty sure anyways. Um, and so yeah, I wanted to show you that to you guys today. Thanks so much for coming on. It's great to see all of you. Oh, you're fly your 777 into here, Rave. You're going to do me. I'm going to fly the 74 into here after flying into here with the somewhat realistic aircraft once. I feel it, man. Ask 1804, turn right, heading 350 hectares. Visual approach, runway 20, and descend to maintain 10,000. Right, 350, descend and maintain 10,000. Expect vectors for the visual approach, runway 20, Alaska 1804. All right, so we're descending. Here we go. Some cool weather, though. Look at that. So yeah, I know these streams have been short lately, but um, you guys should expect some longer streams. I think I'll be able to do a longer one tomorrow, like two flights instead of one. Um, but yeah, you should expect longer streams again very soon. Um, like probably within the next couple days. I mean, obviously I'd have Wednesday not scheduled. I may stream on this Wednesday anyways. We'll see because I don't, we'll probably won't have that much homework because it's the first day of class, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm scheduled six days a week right now. Um, I don't expect that to largely change. So, it's a camp, thanks. Glad you enjoy. Do appreciate that. Passing right over this, uh, little ridge here. This little peak. Look at that horizon. The clouds meeting the sky there. Where's the airport? UKV, yeah, definitely. No, I didn't mean long hauls. I just meant longer streams. I've been doing shorter broadcasts lately due to time constraints, but uh, once I get back to, um, I, I should be doing longer streams again. Mike J, don't worry. I go 230 left turn, runway 12 is approved, all the way down the left exit on Alpha yeah, straight into the ramp, stay on my frequency. I'm going to put in 20. So we get a line. not flying that it's just telling us our distance so we can call the final 1804 airport nine o'clock and eight miles advise if you have a thing salt lake center alaska 1804 has the calisville airport in sight 
Husky 1804, cleared visual approach, runway 20. Cleared visual approach, runway 20, Husky 1804. All right, so now we're going to kind of do our own thing, unless we're advised. So we're going to take the reins. They're going to have some fun. We're basically VFR at this point. Basically, Marcus, do what you want memes, but... Uh, So we're just going to kind of go for it. Um, the airport is 3,000 feet, so we just need to kind of vec uh, maneuver ourselves out of these high peaks so that we can get down in there. But yeah, it comes in quickly. We'll uh, grab the landing lights really quick. We're going to grab flaps one as well. Just got to watch the speeds, watch what's going on. Ask 1804, contact Glacier Tower 124.55. Glacier Tower 124.55, Alaska 1804. Oh no. Bro. Chase plane again? Not now, bro. Could have been like 10 minutes from now. God, dude. It's really hard to fly when Chase Plane crashes every 20 minutes, by the way. I just thought I would mention that. It's really difficult. I really like flying when this doesn't happen. Jesus. Can't even contact tower because I can't look down at the radio to do it. Okay, it's fine. Just got to focus on what's happening. Okay, we're going to change AT here. You need to slow down. Uh, SkyWest can't go back to Easy Dock if you never used it, right? Serious gamer, you trust me that you don't want to do that. I promise. Come on, it takes 30 freaking seconds to sync for some. Oh, okay. Hello. Glacier Tower, Alaska 1804 is on a eight mile final for runway 20. Alaska 1804, Glacier Tower, wind 22015, <laughs> gust 21, runway 20, clear to land. Runway 20, clear to land, Alaska Sky West, I mean, it's just this patch. It's not like it's going to be like this forever. I say that, I hope I don't eat my words, but yeah, I really doubt it. Did I say that's the airport? It's not, because it's over there. At least I'm like 95% sure. Wait, is this it? Or is my FMS stupid? Did I put in the wrong thing, bro? Uh, uh-oh. This is not good. Um, bit high, yeah. Bit. All right. Um, this is kind of stupid, but we're going to go for it anyway. Terrain, terrain. Pull up. I didn't realize it was right here. The FMS was being stupid, bro. Stop. 
I don't know if we can stop. Holy. Um. Well. That was interesting. Okay. Classic 1804 taxi in the ramp via Bravo. Stay on this frequency. Taxi the ramp via Bravo this frequency. Alaska 1804, thanks. Just be 3D things. Puck the fence. How is this dude a streamer? Do you need a ban, bro? Are you talking crap? Don't talk shit to me, bro. Did you see that approach? That was absolutely by the book, bro. Hello? Not going missed. No go arounds. I only did go arounds for the I ratings. I'm not doing go arounds for that. Puck the fens. If you think that's my normal landings, you should take a look at the VODs, bro. You should take a look. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the scenic landing into the airport. All right, folks. This is Glacier Parkway Turbulent. Oh yeah, taxis are not good either. Definitely need a replay. I mean, but P3D replays are so bad, unfortunately. You know? Come on now. You haven't watched Chili before. This is what we call butter on the bread. Rave, you see, Rave, Rave's got my back. Rave's got my back, bro. Kamaska, welcome aboard. Yeah, I'm sponsored by Lockheed Martin Kappa. So I have to, uh, I have to, uh, put that link there. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's just to be helpful. Um,. What's my settings command? It's right here for you, man. There you go. Yeah, this is not a 737 pilot. It has, has the biggest amount of hours ever stream. <laughs> I have fun here. Fly on pilot edge and we have fun. It's a good time. Look at those puddles. The precipitate effects doing work. Yeah, that's I'm pretty sure that's precipitate effect showing the puddles on the uh on the taxiway there. Oh man, I don't really care honestly, bro. Don't really care. Bye. See ya. I am very aware that I don't do everything correct. You don't have to tell me. Thank you. Bye. Nobody's perfect. I gotta work it. Uh, 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 uh. Bye, Felicia. Yeah, I don't ban a lot of people on the stream, but that was a little bit much. Flight Master, you go around, bud. Good you go around, bud. IFR2 Aspen, please. That's 25, zero, six Phoenix clearance. Clear the or even better. Airport, Yoke, Everybody five, makes departure, mistakes. Uper, transition, then as final. Everybody has those days. Climb via the SID. Squawk 5542. Mud Pretty dash. Aspen via the well, you should have checked Mud approach, approach, bro. It was a Mud chili approach. Or SkyWest 2506. Guys, 2506, read back, correct. Shake a monkey? I mean, he kept saying, like, you're like the worst streamer ever. It was pretty toxic, honestly. I mean, unless he wanted me to wait till he was like... I mean, if you wanted to just keep reading that, that's fine. But... Firewire16, hello. How you doing? Uh... 
Oh, I mean, I can ignore him, but it's the chat that has to deal with it. A plus parking indeed. Catnapper, thank you. Thank you, sir. That was good. Let's take a look at the scenery, shall we? No, you gotta be a thick skin to be on here, but it's worth it. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Yeah, this is Glacier Park. Glacier Park by Turbulent. It just came out today. Texas Aviator. Are you trolling, bro? Oh my god. No way. That's so bad. Lol. Times 100. Oh my god, bro. They're trolling. They're actually trolling. Buying the ProPlus license for flight training. Yeah, dude. If you have money to wipe your to wipe your ass with, you can buy the Pro Plus version. Otherwise, use the money on the payware scenery and the add-ons, chat. That's my two cents. What what do I know? What do I freaking know? So yes, it does also blend in with FTX, so you get the uh, you get all the stuff there going as well. From oof to ten, I'm gonna go three. Because oof is like crashing. Do you agree? Okay, I think a one is crashing. Is that fair? Two is like. Two is like living. Three is like over speeding. Texas Aviator, I know you're not trolling. No, his flight school is trolling him. We're recommending the Pro Plus version of P3D. Chili's Dream Planes, a Ford Tri Motor. Cooper Fish, you do, yeah. It's $60. Uh, you either want to buy the academic or professional regular, not Pro Plus. Pro Plus is a meme, dude. Yeah. Pro Plus is a meme. It's, it's a nice logo, but since you can get the Pro Plus logo from the internet, I mean, what are you doing? I could literally just, like, exchange the PNG files and it would look like I had Pro Plus without going into About Prepared. You wouldn't know. Fun fact, by the way. Like, I'm not even kidding. Uh, you pay for all of them. Uh, P3D. I'm saying that Pro Plus is $2,300 and it does nothing different for the purposes of 95% of use cases that uh, academic and, and professional do. Google Earth Flight Sim. How can I sound so cool but cute? That's a good question. I don't know. You should ask me. Because my name's not Willie. My name is Chili, bro. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the flight, though. I know there's a little bit of madness at the end there, but you know you gotta have a fun landing once in a while, right? Who really cares, right? Have fun here. I enjoyed it. Glacier Park is awesome. We'll definitely head here again in the future. Um, the trees are really cool too. I like these trees. Um, but yeah, lots of cool buildings and stuff. It's pretty well optimized. I'm getting good frames while I'm going around it, so that's really nice. Um, really cool. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for coming today. Like I said, I don't have time for two flights today. You should expect longer streams very soon. Um, in the range of, you know, like the old four to five hours rather than like two and a half. But I really appreciate you coming aboard. Pro Plus version has secret code. Mr. Prickles... Corey, did you just ban Mr. Prickles? What are you doing, bro? You are trolling today. You cleared my chat. And you tried to ban Mr. Prickles. No, I'm just kidding. Welcome back, Mr. Prickles. Hey, Sam. Take it easy, man. All right. We're going to disconnect from Pilot Edge and log the flight. Let's find someone to host. I think we're going to host Marcus. He's going to probably laugh at that. Ripper at the end of the stream with that sub, my dude. That Ripper, welcome back to Hawk Thank you so much for that sub, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, dude. Um, so the Chili Shades emote is getting reapproved. It's going into tier one. So um, that should be probably a few days. We'll see. I don't know. Thank you so much, Ripper, for the uh, for the sub, dude. We'll make that 98 sub points for now. So we need two sub points for a giveaway. Thank you guys for that support. I do appreciate it. It's been really great recently. 
Mr. Prickles, hey, the Waldo, yeah. F. Making the memes, Corey. Good job. That's how we do it, bro. I'm making the memes. You're making the memes. We're all making the memes. It's a good time. Yeah, positivity in this chat. All right, here we go. Let's find someone to raid. Mr. Marcus MMC. We gotta raid Marcus. Marcus was our controller this, this afternoon. If you guys don't follow Marcus, we're gonna go raid him. Please follow him. He's a good guy. And, uh... Another great day of service on the Pilot Edge Network. Thank you to uh, to PE controllers, as always, and the team. We appreciate it. Have a wonderful day, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, you can know where to find me on Discord. Ripper, thank you again so much. I appreciate it. It's good to see you, and thanks for that sub. And uh, we'll see you soon, folks. See uh tomorrow afternoon? Yeah, so it should be tomorrow afternoon. I'll ping you guys as always in Discord when I go live. You get the notification. Hopefully, Twitch will be smart. But that's going to do it. Let's get it going. All right. I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Bye.